So, guys, I'm kind of curious. What is it that keeps you going? Like, you've been at this gamut for probably centuries. How have you managed to stay so true to the goals you've had? Well, at first it was my desire to do science without the looming threats of my early keeping me distracted. But now, more than that, I... You... It's rare for you to get tongue-tied. I suppose I have to admit it. I have creations I brought into this world without any consent. I tested their limits in ways even I thought would break them. And I'm beyond proud of how far they've come. Trista here is a perfect example of that growth. If she had been more like me, I probably wouldn't have been nearly so satisfied. She managed to deviate in such a way that the sheer magnitude was something I thought previously impossible. Her willpower and determination are utterly inspiring. Of the innumerable number of sentient beings in the cosmos, if only a small fraction of them values life as much as Tristy does, then I feel morally obligated to ensure they can claim the rewards that Trins would see them denied. Undisturbed science was once a resolve, but that has long passed. If I do not act, all that will be left for the inheritors of this vast and enchanting cosmos will be ground to dust. Cold and calculated as I may seem, the black heart of mine still beats. I will not allow the next generation to lose when so much has already been lost. This is now, and forever will be, my impetus. Tristy certainly may be the most exemplary, but I'd be hard-pressed to list all the people I'd be betraying by just giving up. I hold myself responsible for all the ill my experiments have caused the unwitting populace of the universe. It is a debt I can never truly repay, but I am determined to do all in my power to give them a future. One day, I will have to answer the crimes I have committed for the atrocities my hands have directly or indirectly caused. But that will only be the day when I'm sure the inheritors will have a cosmos worthy of their stature. For this, no price is too high. That was... beautiful. I... I had no idea. I thought you were way more callous than this. Way to just go and shatter my fucking illusion. I like the answer. I don't know how to process it. It's fair you have misconceptions. I've been very guarded. Trust does not come easily to me. Playing the morally questionable schema was much easier than letting you in, but I really ought to grow up. You're, the, you're surpassing me enough as it is. Hot oh, damn, that sure went from glib to inspiring and then to wholesome mad fast. Turn a whiplash aside, that is hella respectable, my dude. And if you tell anyone, I'll have you both terminated. That goes for you three listening in as well. Yeah, I respect that ask. Once I finish talking to Kangaroo Jack over here, I'll get off your lawn. Oh, I was mostly venting about that. Just keep clear of the room behind me, and I can tolerate your intrusion.